I also tell people, don't go broke for Christmas. This Christmas will be special for you and me. This Christmas will be. One, two, one, two, we back. Oh, we back, we back, we back. What have y'all looked at? If you're watching this, you have literally been tuning in since day one. I don't have any more days to go, but we're gonna keep going. Anywho, if y'all noticed for today's vlog, I got a special guest. Ooh, so I'm like, all right, it's been nine days, and y'all probably tired of just seeing my face. So I thought. Let me introduce you to somebody new. Um, so today I have my dear friend Jamia. Hello. Who is a licensed therapist in the Georgia area. So if you are in Georgia or online maybe, I'm not really sure. She could talk a little bit more about that. Oh, as we know, we are in the holiday season. Obviously Vlogmas is, you know, all about the Christmas spirit and whatever else the hell you got going on that you feel as though you want to vlog about right but i kind of wanted to get into a little bit of dealing with the pressures basically of the holiday season either you shopping maybe you got kids maybe you got a boyfriend maybe you got a a, a cheating boyfriend a husband <laughs> a cheating husband a cheating wife a, a, whatever a you got side you, got, all that stuff you got side joints i don't know but maybe you is stressed the hell out all right, and you kind of want to know about dealing with those stresses. So I wanted to bring Jamia on just to kind of, you know, give us all some tips and tricks on how, how to deal with holiday stress or maybe not to even bring it a little morbid, but maybe you've gone through depression. Like maybe you have to spend these holidays alone. If y'all been watching my stuff, y'all know I ain't got that body not like that. So a lot of my holidays and things are spent by myself. So maybe you need, you know, some tips friends. on, <laughs> maybe you need some tips on basically how to deal with dealing with being, um, with dealing Eventually. with the holidays by yourself or, you know, just how to cope right now. So Jamia, welcome. Thank you so much for having welcome, me. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate it. So, um so basically tell me tell the people a little bit about you all right so i'm jamia marl perkins as she stated i'm a licensed professional counselor i'm licensed in georgia and i'm licensed in maryland so like she stated if you it's do the double bag for me but hey like, hey you gotta get that bag <laughs> by any means necessary but as she was saying the holidays are a very difficult time um this is the time of year that we really get a lot of people that seek assistance or sometimes they don't seek assistance so my first thing would don't sit in silence you don't have to there's help out here as she stated it's online help um i'm a part of an agency called better help no promo just who i work for i love the platform um i provide private counseling these platforms are out here where you can remain anonymous you can text to chat you can do video you could do phone call so there is something out here for everyone so is it um not to cut you off no, but no. is better help is it affordable for people or does it does it cost is it free if you have insurance so yes if you have insurance it's a subscription so you could do a 30 60 90 day subscription on better help again if you have insurance your insurance probably covers mm -hmm. it now i have aetna Aetna covered 100% of my counseling, so I had no copay. Then I have Cigna. Cigna has a $50 copay. But my thing is this. If you can, ladies, get your nails done, weaves done, buy bags and shoes, uh, period. You can get your mental health checked up too. So you got to pay for the things that's going to help you build, be better. And I always tell people you don't have to walk around being a dressed up trash can. And a lot of times, that's what we are. We look good on the outside, but on the inside, we empty. So, yes, I definitely would, again, do not sit in silence um, for people who know family members that suffer from depression or are not as outgoing. Reach out to them. You know, even their strong friends need help, too. You know, this season, some people are home alone. They're grieving loss. I would say create a new normal, you know, realizing what purpose and passions you have now in life 
to not just um, continue to sulk in the pain and the grief because at the end of the day, when you isolate and you let that pain overwhelm you, it's going to take hold of you and the holidays may look different for everybody. Sure look different for me because when I get money, <laughs> when I get money, oh, oh my, uh, my holidays going to look real different. <laughs> Stay tuned. Give me 2023, 2024. This week, it's going to look a lot different. Facts. But, I mean, and that does play. Money plays a part in a lot of that, too. I also tell people, don't go broke for Christmas. Like, honestly, you got to live past December 25th. So, parents, I'm a parent of two. I don't go broke for my kids because rent, mortgage, car note, light, gas, electric, still going to be due January 1. So, you know, that's one thing as a parent. Don't stress over trying to get your kid everything on the list. Teach your kids that get what's the difference between a want and a need. Okay, so let's say if someone's dealing with like the stress of having, oh my god, I gotta get something from my mom, I gotta get something from my kid, I gotta get something from this. Like, what do you think some of the things that they can do to kind of alleviate that stress? Because them having to go do that stuff, it's not gonna change. Exactly. You still gotta buy something for your mom. You still gotta buy something for your kids. Uh, well, maybe or maybe well, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's depending on ABA. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> maybe you don't. But if you do, knowing that's not going away, what do you think are some things that they can do to handle that type of stress? Like whether it be fun or, or budgeting. whatever. Budgeting, secret Santas, set a limit. You know, Christmas is about the thought. It's not just about the gift. You know, sometimes it's better to give than receive. So you could do family outings, family things, like going and volunteering at a shelter, going and volunteering to feed the homeless. Because a lot of times we have more than what we need, but we just think that we have to keep buying. In the terms of therapy, what are some therapeutic things that they can do to relieve the stress? Really sit down and just self-reflect on what you're grateful for. People be like, oh... When was the last time you really did that? You know? Yeah, exactly. I know so, I mean. so a lot of times it's just one, it's just stopping, like pausing from the noise. The noise of social media, the noise of the world. Sometimes you have to put implement self-care. I'm so big on self-care. Now self-care can look different for everybody. Self-care for one person could be shopping. Self-care for another person could just be sleeping in the bed because you don't get that time. So whatever self-care looks like for you, sit down and really figure that out because one, that's going to help you really decrease the stress. Is when you find some way to get that rest, that relaxation, that rejuvenation, it's going to help you feel less overwhelmed. It's going to feel like things are less of a burden. Read a book. So read a book. Watch Sweet TV. Read books. Binge watch TV. It's shows coming out. Um, Apple TV, you know, this, again, this video was not sponsored, but Apple, what's up? If you want to sponsor me, hello, I'm here. Um, but Apple TV got a bunch of bomb shows out right now. If you don't have Apple TV, Netflix, Hulu, come on, y'all. We all yeah. got these streaming services. Like, and when Toya talk about books, so, definitely, I wrote a book, and it's called Living with the Secret, Hiding in Plain Sight with Depression. And not your typical book. It's not I'm telling you what to do. No, it's literally a workbook. Like, you have to do some work in this book. And that's what it so is So, in the about. workbook, can I see the workbook? Yes, ma'am. So, basically, let me, let me look through this workbook for you. Let me, let me show you all a few <laughs> things or whatnot. So, in here... There is an introduction, okay? There's also take two, the past follows me. Um, talk a little bit about the past follows me. So that's the biggest one that happens. A lot of times we don't understand that when we have been traumatized in the past, when we've experienced just things that have been painful to us, Unless we deal with them, meaning we really talk about them, we explore them, we process, they carry over. And they can manifest in relationships, just not your it's your boyfriend-girlfriend relationships, but relationships and how you interact with coworkers, how you interact with your peers, how you love yourself. So, so a lot of these things... So happen. basically, though, it also could be why someone might be feeling like this during the holiday. It might not be something recent. Correct. It might even be something that you remember, but it could just be a trigger. And then during this time, it can resurface out of nowhere, and then you're like... What happened? What's going What's on? Why do I right. feel like this? And those are called emotional reactions. Okay. So emotional reactions are 
basic responses to triggers so people might not know when you watch a movie while you're crying or and yes the movie could be sentimental but it could be tugging at other issues or things that you've experienced that you've buried so deep that you don't think about but subconsciously impact you so that's what this book taps into it taps into really checking out your past traumas going through and working through that and then figuring out how to then cope so basically i want to show you guys let's get a little close up so with it, each chapter in a the book there's basically um like little self-help options so it gives you where you can fill out you know hey sleep make sure you sleep go to sleep early what it can do cognitive behavior stuff like that and then also things that you can like fill out Okay, um, so this is this is really great. Um, let the people know where they can find your book. So the book is on Amazon, so you can search it again by my name, Jamia Marl Perkins. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> guess she so, did this yes i'm not all about that so but. basically i'm gonna put the um link obviously in the description box so that you all can definitely check that out um but let them know the title again it is living with the secret hiding in plain sight with depression all right yes. well you know where to get it from. It's going to be on Amazon. It's going to be uh, in my description box. So make sure you click on that. Check that on out. Okay. You know, Amazon Prime. Next day delivery. Next day. <laughs> Two days. Okay. Everybody got Amazon right now. All right, y'all. So we want to thank Jamia so thank much. You so thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming out. Right. <laughs> uh, y'all, don't let this holiday stress y'all out. If y'all ain't got no money, it's okay. Again. Tell, them, tell them you got love. And that's it. Because um, I ain't going broke buying gifts. So there's that. Um, but thank you all so much. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to um, see more guests like this. Or want to know more topics. Maybe you want to be able to come back on. Maybe you might want to see a question and answer maybe you have some questions that maybe she can answer um for you or if you like them would like them answer live let me know in the comments let's chat let's chat about this and let me know what you like let me know what you don't like um if you hated this segment well let me know that too so i don't do another one all right so but let me know so that way you know we can get her back on um or things like that y'all so guess what this is it this is all Day Happy nine holidays. is a wrap. Okay, guess what? <laughs> but it's not a wrap for me. See y'all again tomorrow. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside.